make sure you're following not only Sanchez Show, but Real Fans Real Talk, uh, streaming across all platforms. Shoot us a like, shoot us a comment. And as always, you know, we open up the platform for any sports debate that anybody wants to have. So with that being said, let's get into your man, King James, uh, going to his 10th NBA Finals. Um, and, and just to give it a little perspective, because I, I always love I always love the LeBron haters, right? Because I, I personally love LeBron, even though I don't have him as the GOAT on my list. I, I do feel he is on that Mount Rushmore, as he put it years ago, that he would end up being on. He is, without a doubt, if he's not number two, he's no lower than number three on any list. Uh, any Anything lower than that, I got to call in your credentials. But he's been to 10 NBA Finals um, within 13 years. Uh, he's played in nine of the last 10 NBA Finals. He's heading back now. He's taking his third team to the NBA Finals now. Trip, what else does the man have to do before people start giving him his just due? Um, walk on water. That's like literally that's that's the only thing left. He's got to walk on water. I don't know what else he can do. I mean, you gotta you gotta respect the man. Like like any like if you don't have LeBron in your top five all time right now. You hate him, or you you know what I'm saying? If you Paul Pierce or you Skip Bayless, you hating on on, on Brown. That's it. Like you got you got to respect that man for what he's doing right now, both on and off the court. Like nobody has more pressure on them to to win on the court and to speak out and and, and be 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 a social justice you know leader and be an activist off the court like LeBron James does. So you got to give him his respect. What he's doing right now at his age, no one else has done in the NBA, and he's still number one. He's proven it over and over again. Gentleman sweep through every round of the playoffs. And you know that the haters will come out every round of the playoffs. Oh, man, Portland's the best eighth seed. They might be the ones. They're going to they gonna knock them off. They're going to do it. They win game one, everybody goes crazy. And what happens? Four straight. Going to Houston, it's a small ball line. They're going to kill him. They got hard net in Westbrook. Another one. Get him out of there. Then we go to Denver. Oh, they just came back from 3-1 twice, back to back, and they beat the Clippers. And that's the team that's supposed to beat everybody. They're going to, oh, Dennis, well, you know, it's just the Nuggets. So they, don't, they don't really count. They didn't do nothing. So it's just the, it's just the Nuggets. And then, you know, he's, it is what it is. He's going to go to the finals, and he's going to do his thing, and he's going he's gonna to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then people are gonna be like, oh, well, you know, it was just it was just a bubble. It wasn't he didn't have to play against Giannis or or Kawhi or Durant and Stephen. They was, you know, nobody was there. So, you know, it 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 is what it is. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's it's a process and and we build it. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing back here, so we build it. The podcast studio is coming too. So make sure y'all subscribe good to shooting the shit as well. We building right now the same way LeBron James is building his legacy, and it's going to be hard to compete um, with that legacy. And on top of that, when he's done, he's probably going to have the record for a lot more things. He's probably going to be the all-time leading scorer. He's going to be top ten all-time in assists. He's going to be top twenty in rebounds. Like you have to give this man his respect. Give him his flowers and enjoy because you're not going to see another LeBron James for a long time. Yeah, I, I agree with a lot of things you said there because I don't think that people have fully embraced it and really appreciated what he's done for the game. Um, for him here to be in his 17th year in the league, still um, the top player in the league in my eyes. I mean, you know, he didn't win the MVP, even though I felt he should have. Um, his first finals appearance was in 2007. Here we are 13 years later, he's still going to come back to, for more finals. Um, you know, for him to be able to maintain that level of success throughout the 17 years of his career and then being able to translate the winning to the other organizations he's gone to. Um, obviously, Miami didn't have a, a big time winning culture. They had won a finals before he got there, but they were never any dynasty. He helped transition that into being a, a dynasty while he was there and then bringing that winning attitude back to Cleveland and his Historically, we know who the Lakers are. We know their place in history. But the five years prior to LeBron being there, they weren't a good team. You know, they had struggled. So he's been able to continue his path of greatness um, and then also bring that attitude to all these different teams. I think we got to applaud him for it. Um, in regards to the playoffs, I, I don't agree with it. 
you know, whoever these people are who say things like, oh, he beat this team or he only had to beat that team. Listen, you got to play whoever's in front of you. Simple as that. It's, you know, as, as much as I would have loved to have seen the Clippers and the Lakers play, it's not the Lakers' fault that the Clippers folded. They, you know, they, they had no control over whatever the Clippers do. They had no control over whatever Milwaukee had done on the Eastern Conference. You can only take care of the opponent in front of you. And if I take care of my business and you don't, that's not a knock against me. That's a knock against you. You know what I'm saying? Like, as you talked about, the Clippers were, were hyped up as the team to be able to beat the Lakers. Personally, I did feel they had a legitimate shot to beat the Lakers, but they, they didn't get there. So we can't go off of what could have been because they weren't there. The Nuggets were the team that were there. And that's who the Lakers beat. Um, so, you know, with that being said, I, I, I won't stand for any slander or minimalization of, of what the Lakers have done. They were the best team in the West all season. Um, they, they were starting to peak before we went into quarantine. They had to deal with some of the same issues that other teams had to deal with were going into the bubble. And they overcame those issues. And as you mentioned, every series, they got, they got rid of it in five. They didn't let nobody hang around. They didn't make you think you could beat them. They took care of you. So with that being said, they're on their way to the NBA Finals. And across from them, they're going to see, at least for LeBron anyway, a very familiar opponent. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.